Mr. Cohen here from Coyle Maths. Today we're going to be looking at calculating the midpoint between two coordinates for higher maths. So let's have a look. We have got drawn a line and we could define one coordinate as x1, y1 and the second coordinate as x2, y2. And we want to know what's the coordinate of the middle of here. Well, it's just going to be the middle of the first coordinates, the x's, and the middle of the y's. To find the middle of two numbers, there's a couple of ways you could do it, but the simplest way is just to average them out. So if I had the middle of 1 and 5, let's just write this up. If I wanted the middle of 1 and 5, say, I could just do 1 plus 5, which is 6, and then divide by 2, which is 3. And 3 is clearly the middle of 1 and 5. So I could just average out the x's and average out the y's. So as a formula, you get the following. Our midpoint formula would be x1 plus x2 divided by 2, the average of the x's, and then y1 plus y2 divided by 2, the average of the y's. Now you can remember this formula or just use your common sense that it is the average of x's and average of y's each time, if you don't want to remember a full formula. Let's go into a few examples. Example 1 says, find the midpoint between 2, 6 and 8, 12. So our midpoint I'll just write midpoint. It's simply going to be the average of the x's, 2 plus 8 divided by 2, and the average of the y's, 6 plus 12 divided by 2. So there's our starting point. Work out our sums, 10 over 2 and 18 over 2. So our final answer, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 5, 9 is the midpoint. And just a quick check, is 5 between the middle of 2 and 8? 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 3 away, so it's in the middle. And between 6 and 12 is 9. Well, it's 3 away from 6 and 3 away from 12, so I'm done. I've definitely got my midpoint. Example 2 says find the midpoint between minus 4 and 6 and minus 3 and minus 9. This is where you just need to watch your negatives here. So your midpoint is simply just going to be the average of the x's, minus 4 plus minus 3 divided by 2, and the average of our y's, which is 6 plus negative 9 divided by 2. So watch out for these negatives. Minus 4, take away 3 is minus 7, so I get minus 7 over 2. And 6, take away 9 is minus 3, so I get minus 3 over 2. Now, they are both simplified fractions, so you could, in theory, just leave them as simplified fractions, or if you prefer decimals, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5, so minus 3.5, and 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, so minus 1.5. And there we go, our final answer. Example 3 says in the diagram, A, 9 minus 2 lies on the circumference of the circle with centre C, 17, 12. And the line AB is the diameter of the circle, find the coordinates of B. So a little bit kind of working backwards here. I know this point, I know the middle, and I'm trying to find the point on the outside. So let's just take a few notes here. A is 9 minus 2, so I'll write that down there. And C is 17, 12, 12 which I can write here. And I want to know the coordinates of this. Let's call that x2 y2. So we know that if we add 9 and x2 and divide by 2, we'll get 17. So we can work backwards to get our solution. So for our x's, so to get x2, we'll do 9 plus x2 divided by 2 equals the first coordinate of the middle, 17. So we can work backwards, and that means that 9 plus x2 must equal 2 times 17, which is 34. So our x2 is 34 minus 9. So our x coordinate is 25. Let's do the same with our y. So to get our y2, we know that minus 2, the y coordinate of a, plus our y2 divided by 2, remember, must equal the y coordinate of the middle which is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, so we get minus 2 plus y2 equals 24. So y2 must be 24 plus 2. y2 is 26. So the coordinates of b equals 25, 26.
Some bonus questions for you to try. This has been Claire and Maths. Today we've been looking at briefly the midpoint between two coordinates. Give these questions a try if you get a chance and see how you get on. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.